I am Gwen Griffin with Old World Foundation, and I'm here today with Nick Katona, who is the Executive Chef and Food Service Manager at Old World Wisconsin. And today we're going to talk about food. Who doesn't love to talk about food? Um, we, and I guess specifically food related to our Sunset Soiree, Soiree fundraiser. So this year we changed our format a little bit for Sunset Soiree. And the Old World Foundation chair of our board of trustees has challenged us to raise $30,000 to fund immediate needs related to the new brewing experience building and also um, anything that's needed for the restoration of the Witten Abel's Tavern, which just arrived at, at Old World Wisconsin. And we're hoping to, to do this, we're hoping to furnish the, the brew house. Um, so that it can be open for programming in 2022. So the, the way that we're form, forming this this year is that anyone who donates $250 or more towards this uh, chair's challenge will get an invitation to our Sunset Soiree event at Old World Wisconsin on August 21st. And people will be able to enjoy entertainment and a gourmet picnic dinner that Nick is going to make for us. So um, we wanna talk a little bit about the food and what's going to be included in that dinner. So right now, the menu consists of a core bouillon poached chicken salad with capers and butter lettuce, fresh asparagus Parmesan salad, pecan cheese wafer, tomato, cucumber, and feta salad with vinaigrette dressing and millionaire shortbread. Now that just sounds delicious. So Nick, can you fill us in a little bit on what those uh, dishes all contain? Definitely, definitely. A, a lot of these dishes are inspired by uh, cookbooks that were popular in the early 1900s, a couple of which that were written in Milwaukee. Uh, Cor bouillon poached chicken salad is, is similar to chicken salad we've all had over and over again. The difference here being that the chicken is poached, meaning cooked lightly in a simmering liquid uh, which makes it really tender. Um, this recipe sp specifically is from the settlement cookbook from uh, I believe 1915 or so from Milwaukee. Um, the asparagus parmesan salad is something that we served this weekend at our Memorial Day event and it was really well received by guests. It's a very fresh uh, salad with a light vinaigrette dressing and some arugula and parmesan cheese. The uh, pecan cheese wafers are pretty much like a homemade Cheez-It cracker um, with a pecan in the middle of it. They're something that is standard fare in a lot of Southern box lunch type uh, restaurants and lunch halls. Uh, tomato cucumber salad is something we've all had on many occasions. Uh, and then millionaire shortbread is a, a kind of forgotten thing. It's, it's a three layer bar, has a shortbread crust, has a uh, caramel, filling in the middle and then a top layer of chocolate. So it's, it's a really rich, decadent dessert. Sounds delicious. I cannot wait. I, I'm excited to sample all of that. Um, and for anyone who donates $500 or more, in addition to the evening with the entertainment and this picnic dinner, um, those people will be invited to be guests at a VIP cocktail hour uh, prior to the evening out on the grounds at Old World Wisconsin. So um, the guests there will be able to uh, enjoy two complimentary drinks and they can choose from either spotted cow beer or a drink called the French 75 or the Mary Pickford. So Nick, what are those drinks all about? Um, so these are drinks that were very popular right at after right after post prohibition time when when things were repealed uh the french 75 is a champagne based cocktail that has some fresh lemon juice and gin and simple syrup and the mary pickford was actually one of charlie chaplin's favorite cocktails it's got white rum and some fresh pineapple juice and uh, a maraschino liqueur and grenadine mm -hmm. so things that we're all familiar with but kind of mixed together in a different way yeah sounds great and the appetizers that will be served during the, the cocktail hour are caprese skewers, fromage fort, liver pate on cocktail rye, 
and red wine dark chocolate brownies, which is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, we've we've had the dark uh, the red wine dark chocolate brownies a few times for your events in the past, and everyone really loved them. Uh, mm -hmm. Caprese skewers are, you know, basil, fresh mozzarella, tomato, and there'll be like a balsamic sort of drizzle over them. Uh, fromage fort is a recipe that was uh, devised for people to kind of use the leftover parts of cheese that they had. So when you, you know, buy a, a piece of cheese to eat, you know, with items in your household, there'll be little parts of it left over. So the idea was you could take all these things, put them in a food processor with some dry white wine or, you know, vegetable broth or chicken broth and some butter and make a homemade cheese spread similar to many of the, the, Wisconsin made cheese products that we love in this state, you know, Merck's cheese spread and things like that. So this is just a fancy version of that realistically. Um, the liver pate is a old world recipe based on Braunschweiger. Uh, a lot of people that I know that choose to not eat liver actually like this a lot because it's a lot more subtle in the flavoring, mm -hmm. but all things that, uh, you know, people are hopefully going to enjoy. I'm sure they will. Um, it, it sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful to me. We, we also want to talk just a little bit about your season um, at Old World Wisconsin this year. So you're opening to the general public on June 17th and um, the cafe, I understand, will be closed due to the construction uh, in the front entrance around where the brew house is being built and the, and the tavern will be um, being restored. Um, but you will have a grill station this year, is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, with all the construction going around on closing, we just kind of decided that it'd be better to not have guests walk through everything that's going on there. Um, so close to Ramsey Barn at the entrance, we're going to have a small grill station set up. Uh, it's going to sell a real simple menu, uh, hamburgers, Usinger's brats, Usinger's hot dogs. And then we have some uh, options for people that choose to not eat animal proteins. We have an impossible burger and we're going to have beyond brats also. Um, we are talking with a couple uh, local companies that have preservative free uh, potato chips that we're going to be selling there. Mm. And then we're also going to have a seasonal pasta salad. Um, and we also have brought back Jolly Good Soda. Jolly Good Soda is something that people have loved over a long time that kind of uh, fell out of production for a while, but some people have brought it back. So yeah, we're excited to offer many wonderful Wisconsin products and coupled with the uh, change of the cafe and the grill station, we have revamped our entire gift store to uh, market primarily Wisconsin-based products and Wisconsin-based goods. We just feel like that's gonna be the, the best thing to lean into for people in this state. And the funny thing is it seems almost like a, a stand when you go up to Door County and visit. We have a lot of those similar style products, homemade jams and jellies, uh, mixes for making bread and things like that in your house. But we also sell normal, you know, snack foods that we've had in the past. We're using our sausage, lo local beverages. Uh, we have a new couple new products. Uh, Pete's Pops are a really wonderful popsicle product that use local fruit and organic sugar. Uh, they're from Milwaukee, small business. And then we also are starting to sell Dylan's Chocolates this year, which are uh, a really good chocolate bar. Uh, part of the Wisconsin Dairy Board products. So we're just really excited to be able to offer all these lovely Wisconsin products to our guests this season. Mm. Those sound like great partnerships. That's wonderful. Um, we will also have Jolly Good Soda at Sunset Soiree um, for our guests. Um, they've, they've been kind enough to, uh, to provide us with the soda. So we're looking forward to that. Um, you're right, that is a name you haven't heard lately, but hopefully they'll be making a, a strong comeback, so. Yeah, it's definitely something I remember from when I was a child. Yeah, wonderful. So um, if anyone is interested in the specifics of the programming, the hours, the admission policies, all of those things uh, involving Old World um, and visiting Old World, please visit the Old World Wisconsin website at oldworldwisconsin.org and uh, all the up-to-date information will be there. Um, and likewise, visit the Old World Foundation website at oldworldfoundation.org. And um, we will have all of the information up about Sunset Soiree. Um, it should be a really fun evening and a really relaxing evening and a way to thank the donors and the people who um, have supported Old World Wisconsin through Old World Foundation. We really appreciate the continued support and are excited to 
uh, be starting the 2021 season to be back in person and looking forward to all the exciting things that'll be happening in, in 2021 and 2022. So is there anything else you'd like to add, Nick? I just really want to thank you for taking this time with me. And I know that uh, I speak for a lot of us at Old World here when I say we're really excited to welcome guests back onto the grounds and mm -hmm. just be able to share with everyone what we do here. Yeah, that's great. Well, here's to a wonderful season and we hope to see everyone on August 21st at Old World Wisconsin for a Sunset Soiree. So until next time, thank you.